welcome to my channel. <clears throat> my name is Alicia. Today I have a Stitch Fix for you. I will say that I'm very thankful Stitch Fix for I have the Style Pass. I really hope that never goes away because that puts off the pressure. And I will say ever since we had a new CEO come on, it's been hit or miss. Um, and I'm hoping this is one of those times where in person things are a lot better than a sneak peek online. My preview was not exciting. So I'm hoping that in person they are better. So this is the bundle. I asked for some non-traditional blazers, more casual. I really saw one on Trinson that I love, but I just can't do the $200 right now. And so I was hoping for some non-traditional blazers. I guess they don't have any. Um, and maybe they don't know what I mean by that. I just want a little bit less casual, not like the true, you know, business, business blazer. <clears throat> so we will see. There are a couple pieces in here I have hope for. Um, if I were to keep everything, which I know I will not based on what's in here, it would be $192. My stylist is Kelly, and I have had her a couple times now, and she gave me a five for five early December. I loved everything but I just don't know. I don't know what's going on because I had a five for five and then she did my one, my second one in December, which was a disaster and now she did this one. So I don't know. My closet, as far as long sleeves, is full of pieces I love and would wear every day. Sadly, I feel like California has, our winter can be, you know, one month or three months and I feel like we've gone through it. By next week, it's supposed to be 84. So I need some more like short sleeve, three quarter sleeves, tops that I love and will wear it to work. Oh, and I also have a shop your look. Um, I need to go get that. Um, anyway, let's get into this. This one I'm hopeful for, but if you've seen some of my other videos, I don't need any more maroon. So I'm hoping that this is unique enough. I think this is pink pink enough to not count as that. I love animal print that is not traditional. So I really like that. I like the tie sleeves. It's three quarter sleeves. So I am liking this. It is um, where it's the mix of media in the back. Sometimes that's fine, sometimes it's not. I like the button details. So let's see, this is Fortune and Ivy. The Colleen uh, or Colin mixed material blouse. They're saying purple. I think it's different enough from the maroon. Let's see. This is $44, so not a bad price. I am hopeful for this one. This is the only item I picked out from the preview. I love the colors. I love purple. I like black on me. This is 100% polyester. Whoa. And I know usually it never shows through, but this is a really see-through top when you hold it up very polyester, very thin. Uh, I'm interested if this will need a shirt under it because I simply do not wear shirts under it. It's so sheer. Like, why do we have to have shirts that sheer? Um, so part of my problem with the preview was a lot of things were 100% rayon. I'm pretty sure on my account I have no rayon. So this is a fun to fun, extra large, and this is all a $40, I think. Now they're calling this navy. Maybe it is navy. I would be kind of sad if it is navy because I was really wanting it to be black. But yeah, I think it is navy. So this is $40. I like this, but I'm really afraid. I can see through it. I can see through both layers. So if that's see-through, I cannot do it. But I do love the purple. I really wish it was black though because I want to wear it with my black pants. Um, but it's, if it is navy, it's one of those really, really dark navies. So this one is one that had potential, but it's that brush knit that is just going to pill. Um, this top right here is from Stitch Fix. I love it, but it's pilled everywhere. And I've taken to where, I, I mean, I've always for years and years, I line dry my clothes. Now I throw them in a garment bag when I wash them. I don't know what else to do to not have my clothes pill. In my mind, I'll pay more, but I don't think that's gonna help. So this is probably not going to be a keeper because it is the brush knit that is just going to pill. I will say this is also literally see-through. I love the color. This is a good color on me. It's three quarters. I do love the button detail. So I'm, I, 
in a way, I hope this doesn't look good on because I just know that this brush knit is going to pill. But I like it. It's soft. I love the color. This is Fortune and Ivy, the Aubrey button detail top. Now, they're calling this navy. This is not navy. Um, this is definitely a teal. I think it's even more teal in person. And so this is $40. So a good price. But I, I just know the brush knit is going to pill. Now, this is the piece I find very interesting. Um, now, it's a sweater material in person, and I, it's purple. I love purple. But I'm not quite sure why they thought I wanted, like, a, a sport jacket. Like, a, almost like an exercise jacket. Um, very soft. I like the purple. It's got pockets in the front. It's got a zip. I like the ribbing on the side. I don't have a use for this. I have just kept kind of a navy blue, basically the exact same thing except for not sweater material. This too is that brush knit where it's going to pill. So I don't know, like I, maybe they were trying to think this is a casual blazer. I don't know, maybe I'll love it when I get it on, but I don't see me wearing this. Um, this is, what is this? Market and Spruce Blakely Zip Up Hoodie, uh, $44. So, love it, love the color. I mean, I love the color, but I don't think I have a use for this. Um, once the weather gets warm here, I am not a layer at all. Like, I'm hot, um, and I usually use a cardigan. Like, if I'm going to layer, I will have a cardigan in the car. Um, anyway. The other thing I find very fascinating is in the preview, they tried to give me cosmic blue jeans in the same color that I just bought. I turn them down. They still give me uh, maybe the same pair or a different pair of cosmic blue love jeans in the same color. I just bought these in December, but in a boot cut. Cosmic blue love, Ellie straight leg, for size 14, they're $88. <coughs> now the ones I have are 16. But they're in the exact color, I mean exact color, except for these are straight leg. I tend to not like straight leg because I feel like for shoes they look funny. Um, but I'll be try these on and see. But I don't know why they would send me the same wash, same brand, literally within a month. Um, I will say personally, I feel that Cosmic Blue Love Stretch. When I bought the ones for a 16, uh, the first time I wore them, I thought, oh no, they stretch as bad as cut from the cloth. Now, I really I thought I was going to have to dry them every time. After being in the dryer a couple times, they tend to be holding uh, their size now. But they do stretch. But I just don't know what Stitch Fix is thinking. Um, I don't know. I feel like they're relying too hard on their algorithm. Um, I don't need a second pair of light wash jeans this soon. Anyway, let's get to the try on and I'll be right back. All right, I am back with this first piece. It is too tight. I don't know whether that comes across. This is the, what is this? Hmm, now I'm not sure. Maybe this is the fun to fun split neck blouse, $40. It's too bad, it's too tight. It's really tight across here. Um, so I would have to size up to an extra, extra large. I love the colors. I like this top, um, but it is too tight. I've noticed with these 100% polyester, I feel like sometimes they run small. What's funny is I don't normally have them be tight up here. It's mostly okay down here. It's a little tight down here. Um, it's actually not see-through, which is shocking, as thin as this was. Um, but it doesn't fit. I would definitely have to size up, but I do like it. So sizing up might be a possibility. So this is Shop Your Looks, and I really need your opinion because I feel like maybe I'm taking my rules too seriously. This was $38, and I feel like it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm not that excited about it. And I don't know whether I'm being too hard on the top. One of my issues is that like it comes, there's like a scallop detail to the V-neck, but then it's almost like it's missing. Like they didn't sew it over enough. And so there's like a divot right there. And so I feel like this is going back, but then I almost feel like I'm being too picky. But it's just, the way it's cut, I don't necessarily think it's anything special. It's not bad, but I can't decide whether I'm being too hard. Like maybe I'm being too critical. And it's mainly that little piece right there. Like I just think that's funny. 
and I think that will bother me. Um, I like the detail in the back, but I would love your opinion on this top. Am I being too hard on it or is it a keeper? And again, my main concern is that little guy right there. Why, why isn't the little crochet or rickrack right there all the way in? All right, I'll be back. So I am back with the Fortune and Ivy Aubrey Button Detail. It's $40. Uh, I wanted this to, I kind of didn't want this to work because of the brush knit. Um, I really love the ruched sleeves. I think the way this is cut is very boxy. Uh, I feel that the buttons are very cute from the side, but I think from this angle, they're just adding, like it's very square and they add bulk. Um, and the way it's very square here. So I like the side view, but I'm not sure I like the front view. I think the buttons just add bulk. Um, and again, I'm really trying to stick to my rules of 100% love, like I'm excited to wear it. And so far, I don't think we've hit anything that I just can't live without, I'm excited to wear. So, on to the next piece. All right, I am back. I really wanted this one to work. I may have to wear it and see how it evens out. I love the color. I love the animal print. The V-neck is awesome. I like the button detail. I like the sleeves, but it sort of has a wonky feeling. Like there's like a little, like this kind of blouses out, which may be just wrinkles from the travel. Um, it's also a little bit tight on my chest, which I don't normally have. I am a small, like I'm a C cup, so I don't normally have issues but it's kind of tight on my shoulders too. And my one problem with this is the mix material. It just shows all my lumps and bumps, which that's one of the reasons why I don't like the mix material. Sometimes you get lucky and they hang nice. This one is not the case. Um, I am about five pounds up from Christmas and just beginning of the year stuff. Um, but I don't know if that, I mean, maybe that's accounting for it. Um, so I don't know. I like it, but I don't like, so from this view, I really like it. It's different. I have nothing like it. Um, but I do not like this view at all. So let me know, what do you think? I think we may be a zero for five. I will try on that jacket and the jeans for you guys. All right, I am back with this sweater jacket. It is very soft. It totally looks fine. I have no complaints other than for me, because it's purple, I feel like I just can't throw this on with everything for a jacket. It's also that brush knit, so it's gonna pill. Um, I love the color, but I don't need it. So this is definitely not staying with me. And then I have the Cosmic Blue jeans, Cosmic Blue Love jeans. Now they are a straight leg, but I feel like they are a slightly looser skinny. So I don't mind them at all. They fit great on the leg, they, they fit perfect. In the stomach, they're a little bit like tight but I know that they stretch, so that wouldn't be a problem. The thing is, I literally just bought this same color from the same brand in December. So I have really no need. If they were a dark denim or another color, I could probably convince myself to buy them because I don't have that many jeans. But because I have the same brand, same color in boot cut, I really can't justify $88. So I'm really strongly considering sending everything back. I don't think there is a love in the bunch. Um, I was hopeful for this guy, but I just, I'm not liking the back. Um, and I don't know if I like this enough to exchange it because it felt so weird. Like it's usually not tight on my chest. I would kind of be interested on how the extra, extra large would fit. I do like the coloring. Um, so let me know what you think. Is this worth exchanging? Um, but it's such a thin, thin polyester. I don't know. 
And then I could also really use your advice on the shop your looks. I just, I wanted to love it, but I don't like how the bottom drapes. It's kind of boxy. And I really just don't understand why there's like no little rickracky thing there. Why, I think they miss, like there's a bunch sewn back here. So I feel like it's miss sewn. Anyway, let me know what you think. I hope you guys have a great day and I can't wait to hear what you think of my, what I should keep or not keep.